Hey guys, back with another Maple Story video here. This time, I'm gonna do a quick video of how I leveled up my Absol Cape and my Absol Boots. And one of the most painful things about hitting, you know, a new piece of armor, especially at the higher levels, the higher ranks, is the amount of powders it costs to get it to back to level whatever, 50, 40, and at the absolute level, it is absolutely brutal. And so I wanted to do a little experiment because usually most people buy the packages of wheat stones or wet stones and or have a ton of legendary powders from alts or just from elite dungeons or they buy level 25 legendaries, mythics level 30 or ancient level 30, whatever it is, combination. It gets pretty pricey. And I think for my last piece of armor, it took me, cost me about four, three to four bill. And I was like, that is brutal. So I wanted to do the experiment and see how many uniques level 20 it takes to get to level 50. And I did hear and learn that uniques are still the best bang for your buck. But of course, you have to make it yourself, craft it. So that's 38 level 20 uniques to level 27 out of 50 not bad these are all uniques that i had in my storage ready to go just from random stuff i just keep them and so that's actually not bad it's still a long way to go still requires a lot of powders but at least for me i was able to use it on my alts and from all my all the cdd alts that i have and used that I do daily kind of pays off where right? I have a ton of legendary powders ready and I had some legendary armors that I maxed as well. And then if you don't know, you want to save your wet stones. Is that what you call it? Wet stones? Wheat, wet stones for the very end because they actually give the most value at the higher levels. At higher levels, they are better bang for your buck. And so here I'm using every single last resource that I have normal powders that I just get from drops from mobbing from a perma so obviously took an insanely long time but I still had about 2,000 legendary powders maybe ish around there so I had 38 unique max level and I got some unique um, powders as well and then finish off with legendary and you can just see yeah it's it's painful yeah i think that was just under under 3000 2000 but yeah there you go level 50 so that was about and i think i started the budget around 900,000 900 mil sorry so it took me about 200 300 mil to Level 1 to level 50. So not bad at all. Just took quite a bit of time and still obviously crafting and stuff adds up. And then I ran out of uniques for my cape. So I went and just tried to use as many epics as I could. Just on alts again from CDD alts and level those up. Those are extremely cheap. But as you can see, it's just not as impactful. 40. How many? I can't believe I did all these. This is just absolutely absurd. But they're about... Yeah, they're, they costed no mesos at all and barely any powders as well. So it wasn't, it was just time consuming, right? Free to play is just absolutely time consuming. Look how many I did. Just what kind of maniac am I? Oh my Lord. So I was like, this is just going to take way too long. And it just doesn't seem very efficient resources wise. I found out actually making, fusing these into uniques. So that was what, 160 something. Yeah just not worth it so i just decided to fuse them into uniques and then level them up that way and clearly a lot better and there's obviously an, a chance to, to fuse a unique emblem as well so that was one reason why i went into epic the epic route fused two epics together and then maxed out the uniques i think legendaries are pretty good as well but I, I think uniques are just better 
and so yeah 19 right there try to get it more leveled up but yeah it's just it just slows down a ton and it was just still i think i had about almost used up all my mesos here of my 900 mil some powders remaining so i'm close right i was pretty close to maxing but i needed a little bit more mesos I think it was because I started fusing and it just added up just the amount of epics were just brutal. So yeah, waited to get more mesos, finish it off right here. So it was, cost me probably around, yeah, like a, a bill, maybe less than a bit, 1.5 bill to level both. Quite a bit of powders, to be honest, but overall was really happy with the results. You see, I'm trying to go into trade server to see how much it actually cost for max level uniques. And man, they're actually pretty expensive. So I may look into trying to cash out that way. But yeah, uniques just are hard to do in trade server because you only get 10 total buys, purchases per day. But yeah, easy peasy. Not half bad. Not half bad. Maybe just over one bill to max both. Time consuming, but good little um, experiment. Hope this helped you guys. It's not that bad. Do your dailies. Do your alts, get those powders, save some mezzos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.